Hi, this is Laura from laurasenglishclass.com. I'm going to tell you today about a grammar point you can use to emphasize what you're saying. So instead of saying, for example, it is hot outside, it is very hot outside, it is really hot outside, it is so hot outside, you can use this grammar point to be a little more creative and to show what you're trying to say with a little more emphasis. In your textbook, it's going to say that you should use this as as construction to compare two things that are very similar or the same. But if you take that object and you trade it out from something that's the same or similar to something that is extreme, you actually can use the same grammar point to emphasize what you're saying. So for example, if you want to say it is hot, it's not just hot, it's like 40 degrees outside Celsius. So, oh, it's so hot. You can say, it is as hot as, and then choose something really extreme, the inside of the sun, or it is as hot as the Sahara Desert, or it is as hot as my oven, I don't know. <laughs> you can put whatever you want at the end of it, right? You can be creative with it, you can be silly with it, as long as it's kind of extreme. Because by having that extreme and having the grammar point mean that it is the same as, you are pulling the meaning of the sentence to feel really strong. So you can either be creative, or if you're not feeling creative, you can also rely on a lot of the idioms that we have. So for example, uh, the idioms that all use this grammar might be, he is as cool as a cucumber, she is as strong as a bull, um, he is as smart as an owl, they are quiet as mice. A lot of them actually have to do with animals, <laughs> but not all of them. I have a longer list of these idioms that use this grammar point on my website. You should check it out. Okay, so that brings us to my last point, which is this internet slang word. The thing to know about this expression is that because it's really casual, um, in fact, it's slang, it's extremely casual, it's not gonna use the first as in this grammar construction. Oftentimes in conversation, that as gets left out just to make it faster. So you're just gonna see subject, be verb, adjective, and then the as object. In this case, the object is one of the most extreme words we have. You can't really get more extreme than swear words or taboo words. So this is the F word. If you don't know what the four letter word that begins with F is, that's a swear, I recommend you Google it. So the F and the A is for as. The reason it's abbreviated and not spelled out fully is because people are probably texting or they're on Twitter where there's only 144 characters or they don't want to make it completely obvious that they're swearing. So they just put AF. So you're going to see on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on blogs, sometimes even on the news that's talking about social media, you will see things like he is smart AF. Uh, she is old AF, it is funny AF, they are stupid AF. So you're gonna see it all over. I'm really just telling this to you because I was all excited because ooh, there's slang that's based on grammar, yay! Um, but really, it's good to know what these things are when you see them. You don't necessarily need to use it because oftentimes you can offend people if you're swearing, but just the more you know, you know? All right, so, that is all that I have for you today. If you have any questions or you want to see that longer list of idioms that use this grammar point, check out my website, laurasenglishclass.com. You can also sign up for an English class with me online there. Or if you just want to subscribe below, you can do that too. I'm going to try and put out videos every week or so. Um, so that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.